Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Before the break, uh, Annalise and Kalina were heading off to um, Renwick's Manor in the middle of the fetid fields to retrieve an artifact of some kind. Uh, on their way, they helped out a white elk um, from a load of wild people. Uh, they shot first and asked no questions. Saved the elk, <laughs> uh, made their way across the fetid fields and found the manor, which has been half sunk into the swamp. They made way their way through the door that appears to have been maybe forced open. Um, and at least you find yourself in a what appears to be maybe some sort of receiving room. It is a square room on the far end of the room. You do see a pair of double doors, which you can see from this side of the room are slightly ajar. You're technically inside the manor. However, there is no roof uh, currently. The only light is coming from the very grey sky above you. Um, all around this room there are uh, tapestries that you can't quite make out because on closer inspection they have been completely degraded by mould and moss. Well, it, it looks like someone else has maybe been here before us. It's probably been here a long time, no? Oh, yeah, but like, I mean, like, that doorknob looks kind of clean over there. Maybe it's been like recently someone's been like in here. Possibly. Or maybe they're still here? It's very unnerving. Either that or they're the gargoyle. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm a bit nervous. Okay, let's, um,. Let's start. I still, I still have like my cool, my cool spelly thing up, so we could like you know walk around and we just try to cover as much of the area as we can. That way we can see if anything stands out. What's the uh, what's the range on your spell? I think it was thirty feet. Let me double check. Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Yeah. Yeah. And From how, myself. Yeah. How thick the um? How thick is the? Uh, obstructions that stop you seeing? Um, one foot of stone, mm -hmm. one inch of common metal, yeah. a thin sheet of lead, or three feet of wood or dirt. Okay. So, do we carry on? I think so. We just, you know, we can walk through and hopefully we will see the artifact. And it'll be like really easy, like, you know, like something that we can fit into like a bag and we could just then go. That would be good. Yes, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Exactly. Okay, let's try to find the artifact. Follow me. Let's keep going through. And she's still got like her loot out and she's just kind of, you know, wandering through, trying to find this artifact, looking for something that's glowing. Okay, as you um, approach the door, the door is slightly ajar. Double doors. Okay, um, my hands are kind of filled with the loot, so maybe you should like open the door. Sure, why not? You open the door, and the door opens out. What looks like a hallway directly. You're kind of the door door. The hallway is in front of you. It's um, kind of you're walking out into the hallway, if you like, and across from you, there is another set of double doors. To the right of you, there is another ornate set of double doors. And to the left, the hallway continues. It's going to... Hmm. So you had the left of the hallway continuing. Left of the hallway continues. Did it... And you said there was a double doors as well. Double doors in front, double doors to your right, hallway to the oh. left. She's gonna go to the double door with the right, because she's gonna try and clear each room as she's going. She's gonna just be like, you know, walking around and like, you know, 
She's walking in. You're not getting any auras, but you are. <laughs> uh, you come to the large set of doors. Or, these are more kind of ornate than the other two. Oh, these are like really pretty. Do you think we can just like open them? You want to try? Yeah, let's just try. You know, it's not like a name on it or anything, you know, like, you know, Renwick's private study, keep artifacts here or something. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> An inventory checklist or something, you know, like most recently checked out by Scary Goblin, never returned. Well, maybe we'd be so lucky, <clears throat> huh? Mm. Um, uh, Kalina goes to the door. It's locked. Oh, well, we still go home. <laughs> it's okay. I have something for that. Ooh, I do not know if I could use it just now, though, while I'm trying to, to look for things. What are you going to However, try do? I yeah. have lockpicking tools. Uh huh. Can I use it while concentrating yeah. on the. Yeah, okay, cool. Um,. Yeah, she's gonna use her lock picking tools. Okay, yeah. How does that work again? Is it just like a sight of hand check? Uh, no, it's it's your if you're are you proficient with uh, tools? Uh, are you proficient with thieves no. tools? No. Okay, then it's your dexterity modifier. What it was? Okay, so just the the sex. So d d twenty plus Steps. your dex modifier. A natural 20? Yeah, I can show it to you. It's there, isn't it? It's there. The, you can't see that. I, I, it's a no, 20. I, I, I'm, I'm going to have to trust you. Guys, yeah, it's a 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 20. And my uh, sleight of hand, oh, just dex, sorry. Dex um, modifier is three. Okay. So, <laughs> so you um, unlock the door, um, which totally had a dc20 to unlock it <laughs> oh shit seriously yeah yeah you uh you unlock the door and there is a quite a fancy staircase it leads out into the swamp okay so there is a staircase <laughs> It just looks like it goes into the swamp again. Hmm. Do you know what? Why don't we? Is the staircase going like up or down or? It actually goes down. Why don't we follow the staircase down while I'm still looking for things? Because if there's something like in the water, it, it, it could glow. You know, I don't think water blocks it at all. It, it might glow. Or swampy, swampy ground or grass. Grass. There was no grass mentioned. <laughs> Well, we could try. Okay, let's try. And she'll start walking. Yeah, you, you walk Ooh. down. So, the, so this looks like it was like the, uh, the the official entrance, not official entrance. You know, the front door, the front door to the to the actual manor, as okay. it as it were. Um, you have a look round the swamp. It looked like it probably led onto something, onto some floor, but there is just swamp water, and marsh nothing giving off any aura this is very pleasant very pleasant <laughs> should we carry on down here or maybe just go back into the manor i don't think there's anything down here doesn't look like it but at least we know this is another way out so you know something happens we get stuck we know we can come this way okay Let's just start heading back, back into the manor. <laughs> okay, so you, you head back into the manor through the double doors that you just unlocked. Yes. Uh, there is still a set of double doors to your right, um, yeah. and the corridor is in front of you the whole way. Should I say? And um, I guess she'll try the doors to her right, just trying to clear everything as she goes. Uh, you try these doors. It looks like they have been again swollen and rotten, but they are stuck ah okay so like actually like stuck there um <clears throat> the like the lock and the mechanism it seems completely uh rotted away 
Okay. You want to like hit it with your axe? I mean, it it's wood, and your axe like chops wood. We could do. You want to hit it with your? You should hit it with your axe. It's gonna be noisy. It is gonna be noisy. I just think of like rooms that are hard to get into. That's where the artifact could be. Hmm. Possibly. Okay. Do you know what? We know this door's here. Let's carry on because. There's a time limit on what I can do. So let's keep going for now. And we'll, we'll carry on down the corridor, like making a mental note that they've not yet been through that one. Okay. As you continue down the corridor, uh, the corridor opens up into a um, into a, a square, a square apart, if you like, on the corner, um, right in front of you, um, from the opposite direction you just came, is a set of stairs that leads upwards. Oh, look, stairs! Great. The stairs, kind of, not in a spiral, but the, the, there's a set, there's one part of the staircase, and then it turns right on the corner, and then goes up to to the sky, because there's no, there's no second floor. Okay, so, we've well, come in the main bit, and we've come down and gone through one door. We can't get the other door open. And the hallway leads to stairs that lead to nothing. Am I missing anything? I don't know. Maybe we should investigate. I guess so. Let's have a look around. Maybe there's like a secret door or something around here or like a, like something in the ground. So they'll start investigating, looking for any other openings or anything. Do an investigation check. <clears throat> Uh, 11, I think her investigation is plus one. Let me just double check. Yeah, so 12. Okay, so um, all you find is on the staircase, um, you do see that there seems to be a lot of kind of foot traffic that has come up and down this staircase. Uh, you see, especially if you go up the stairs, um, you can see an elongated... E elongated, elongated uh, footprint. Well, it looks like someone with very big feet has been walking up and down these stairs. Lucky them. <laughs> but I don't think that's going to really help us much. Does it look like people have recently walked up and down these stairs? Uh, do me a do me a survival check. 13 plus 4, 17. Yeah. Okay, look. Someone has recently been up these stairs. Do you know what, Kalina? I heard that sometimes, like, you could have, like, things that are invisible. And then, like, you, you could, like, have, like, a whole thing that's invisible. So maybe there is. You know, like a whole invisible floor. Do you want to know some irony? As I was practicing some new spells last night, and I could have learned how to see this, but I didn't. It's fun. It's, it's very circumstantial. How would you know? Exactly. How would I know? So I think we start walking up these stairs, but be really cautious because there might be a whole invisible part of this house. I, I don't know if we have like flour or something we could throw onto it. Well, I guess there's plenty of dirt outside. Oh, there is dirt. That's a good idea. Okay, okay. Going to run aside. I'm going to get some dirt. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then we're going to go up the stairs and we're going to put the dirt down in front of us and see if it falls or if it, like, you know, stays there. I'm just seeing if I've got anything else in my bag that might be better than dirt and... No, I, I can't find anything. I have oil. We could set it on fire. That's it. <laughs> Probably not a good idea to set uh, set house on fire that we in, no? Probably not. Oh, I could release my locusts because, like, they, they, they'd have to go around, like, in different rooms. It'd be obvious we could follow my locusts. We could try. I could. But I've already done that, and I, I kind of feel a bit, bit sleepy from doing that. So oh, I can't okay. Do that again. I see. You need to rest before you do that again. <laughs> okay. 
I go to grab some dirt. <laughs> okay, you run out and you grab some. I mean, the, the dirt isn't going to be like like dry, nice sand. It's going to be like a clump of mud that's kind of like green and a little bit putrid. So Annalise yep. comes back with a handful of just like slimy dirt. Yep. Okay, what you... She's running because I think we're going to the end of the 10 minutes, I'm imagining. So she's like running up the stairs. Yeah, you, you run you run <laughs> up the, uh, you know, first first 10 steps onto the second. And there's like and a little platform. Gets into the platform. Mm -hmm. And she drops the dirt where she thinks the floor might be. So you... Logically where the floor would be. <laughs> you fling the dirt to the side, like... to the inside. And it just fall and it just falls to the ground. <laughs> okay, that did you, work. You get you get a good view of the fetid field from up here. Nice. And and you can see that there was probably a second floor to this manor once upon a time. Okay. So maybe I was wrong, but a really lovely view up here. Yeah, it's a good lookout spot. It's a very good lookout spot. Oh, whoa, maybe, maybe there was never anything up here. Maybe this was their lookout spot. Or maybe they had like a blood portal, you know? Like, like what's his face had? You like, we could have, maybe that's what they did. Nasak. I knew it was Nasak. This is the reason we're here. And the reason we're here. Yes, yes, okay, okay. But. Maybe Nasak came up here and he like has like a portal or maybe a portal appears here. Or maybe there's no portal. Did Nasak have big feet? I don't know. I didn't really notice his feet. Like, are they like human's feet? Let's have a look. And she's going to have a look at the, the footprint. Is it, does it look like a human footprint? Can she do tell? A, do a nature check. Oh, that wasn't good. Five, six. <laughs> uh, it's it's very in. It's inhumanly kind of dirty and long. So I don't think this was like a person, you know. Oh, Alina, do you remember when we were speaking, or like they weren't speaking to us? That'd be weird. But when I was speaking to the wolves. Uh, sort of. Okay, okay, well, I was, like, speaking to the wolves, and, like, there was that really big wolf. It was, like, a normal wolf, only, like, dying. And <laughs> it, like, <laughs> went out, and it was really foggy, but I thought there was, like, a person. I thought it, like, stood up on, like, its, its feet. Maybe, maybe the wolves here walk on their two feet. Maybe this was a wolf. Would they not have paws? I don't know. Maybe. Could could be could be wolves. Mm hmm. It's walking wolves. Well, I think we're at a loss here. I think we should go back to the door that we couldn't open, and we just make a lot of noise and get it open. Or well, we could continue down the corridor. It keeps going. It does. Oh, I thought it stopped here. Oh so dear, I was. <laughs> the staircase is on a corner. <laughs> so you, you you basically come through the door. You've turned left down a corridor, and then you've come to a, the corner of the corridors, which is where the staircase was. Oh, I see it now. <laughs> it's like really yeah. big and obvious and right. So as, I mean, you you would get a good idea from being up here is that you're basically in the in the let's say fr from looking at the door, you're on the left hand front corner of the house. Yeah, she's gonna head back down the stairs and uh, carry on down the corridor. <laughs> okay, as you two. How uh, much um, time has passed? What's your, what's your time limit on it? Ten minutes. Uh, I think by the time. I, I, whatever, I'll, I'll say you've got another few minutes left. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll pass it again if not. I think that's fine. Um, as you start walking down this corridor, you do hear some uh, scratching noises. And a few kind of squeaks as well. Oh no, I think there's like a rat or something trapped here. <clears throat> She's gonna follow the scratchy noises. <laughs> you, you follow the uh, 
you, f you follow the uh, sounds um, up the corridor and you come to a little alcove and in this little uh, like you know little vestibule um, mm -hmm. part of the the corridor in this uh, area there is a largest ish cage squat cage and it is full to the brim with rats oh my god galena look all of those poor rats are stuck <laughs> as you come around the corner as you say that uh because you notice the rats are stuck um you notice that there is another rat no it's not a rat it, it's outside of the cage um what you see is a speckled mouse that is stood on its hind legs. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and it's got, it seems to have a little walking stick. Um, as you say, Kalina, look, it turns around and goes, <laughs> and um, runs off down the corridor around around the corner into another little alcove ahead of you. I'm, <clears throat> Wait, no, don't run away. I won't hurt you. I'm trying to help little mouse. There's no answer. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go over to the rats. <laughs> so you like, go... Kalina, did you see like that little mouse with like, the stick? Uh, I'm glad you saw it too. <laughs> like that was like you know. That was weird. So what did we, what was in that ice cream yesterday? What did we eat? I don't know. Something going on. I like, don't know. You I'm, know. I'm hoping this is all just bad dream, you know, since we got I here. I mean, an, a magical elk blessed us earlier, so I'm a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to approach the cage of rats. A few of them, because they seem quite cramped in there, a few of them kind of shy away from you. But the others are still kind of like squirming about. Um, he is going to not waste her spells on rats. She's going to... Um, how is the cage locked? Uh... Hmm. Do do a um, do an investigation. Okay. One <laughs> plus one is two. It's not obvious. <laughs> it's not obvious. It's some sort of trap. Okay, like do they look like they're trapped in here. Like, how do I get them out? Hmm. Maybe I could like try and like pull the bars open, like. Maybe there's a way to do that. <clears throat> Are you trying to help them? Oh, yes, I'm trying to help them if if I can. <laughs> so you turn around, uh, you see the the mouse. That's <laughs> the size of an actual mouse. Relatively difficult to hit, and you can see he's got this like tiny little backpack on him, uh, <laughs> and he is. He he's like leaning around the corner, like curiously. Oh, he hello, sir. Hi. Um, yes. Well, I am trying to help because they look like they're trapped in there. Oh well, if you're trying to help, hang on. And he okay. kind of like walks very briskly, but it, it seems very slow to you. <laughs> it's like, and he he. He wanders over to the rats and he just starts going. And all the rats just like settle down and just like sit like dogs. <laughs> that, that should make it easier. Oh, thank you. Um, sir, what, what, what is, what was your name? My name is Ruto. Ruto, hello Ruto, my name is Annalise, this is Kalina, and hopefully we can chat to you a bit more after I, I get rid of these, help these rats out of here, okay. And so now that the rats are all like calm, I'm just going to go and have another closer look, can she figure out how to open it now? Uh, yeah, do like... do an investigation with advantage, with um, the, the little mouse and <laughs> Kalina helping you. 14 and uh... 2. 
<laughs> so we'll go for the 14 plus one is 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you, you you can see it's like one of those traps that once they you know once they go I don't know what the technical name for it once they go in they can't get out uh, yeah. type thing. So it looks like that it, it's been positioned like in a kind of rat run. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So once once you uh, find out the trick the the mechanism, you literally have to break it, and you can you release have to still them. Still break it, yeah. Yeah, um, and all these rats just uh, as soon as you open it, they all just disperse. <laughs> they all just just. Uh, Bugger off some of them literally just climbing up the walls and then jumping over into the out into the swamp. Oh poor rats, they must have been here for a while. I think so. Well perhaps you could help us. We are um looking for a bad artifact that is making everything not very well. Bad Do artifact. you know what it could be? Uh, I don't know. You're gonna have to lean down. I'm shouting like hell here. Oh, um, here. And she'll put her hand down for him to step onto it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and he just kind of like, he just kind of like wanders onto your hand like that. Kind of. And then she'll put her hand up here. Oh, that's better. That's much better, isn't it? I yeah. don't want you to like shout and lose your voice. Oh. So. <clears throat> so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, um, do you know if there's any artifact here? I don't know if there's an artifact, but I've, uh, I've, I've come to, well, save the rats, as you can see. Why did you come to save the rats? Well, there's a very, well, there's a bad troll that lives here. A troll? Yeah. I've heard In he's the been, banner? Yeah, I've heard he's been mistreating... The rats. That doesn't sound good. Hmm. Do you know where this troll is? Maybe we could stop the troll because if I were trying to keep an artifact hidden, I would probably employ a troll to guard it. Maybe. Seems to make sense to me. Do you know where the troll is? No, but when I find him, I'm going to give him a stern talking to. Oh, please don't. I don't want you to get hurt. Oh, no, I can handle myself. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm from a very dangerous place. Well, I mean, the matter is that a, a troll is big. I feel like we would find a troll. Well, it, it, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of from where I'm from anyway, so I kind of feel responsible to make sure that he's not doing bad things. Where are you from? Oh, oh I'm a fae. Oh, oh, I have met other people who are, are other beings that are also fey. I, I've met a few things recently. Oh, I have many fey friends. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't introduce myself. My name's Ruto. You did? Hello, Ruto. Hi. I, hi. Well, Ruto. How about... Oh, so this troll, is he like a friend of yours as well? Oh, no, no, he's bad. Okay, is... so if we find them and we were to, you know, well, that would the... be okay. Well, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe just give him a talking to. Okay, well, we'll use words first. Yeah, his name's Juma. Juma. Okay. We'll talk to Juma. Maybe Juma can help us. Right. Well, we're going to carry on walking through this manor, see if we can find this artifact and hopefully make everything out here a wee bit better. Get rid of all the zombies. Zombies? Oh yeah, there's zombies out there and like oh, no. witches and like um vampires. Oh that sounds scary as shit. It is scary as shit. But you're quite little, you might be able to just you know like hide. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty good at hiding when I want to. Well, Ruto, we are going to carry on going through this house. Hopefully we will find what we're looking for and make everything better again. Okay, well, it looks like our goals are aligned. And she'll like lean down to put Ruto back down. Right, onward! And he marches forward at, at a very, very fast pace for him, but a slow pace for you two. Let's follow the mouse. <laughs> 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 as, as you can as you continue <laughs> up, uh, the two of you just like Kalina's just like stopping, taking a step, 
stopping, taking a step. Uh, you come to another door, which is another set of double doors, which are slightly ajar again. You want to try and open these ones, Galena? Well, I guess so. Open it. I'll cover you. <laughs> They're loot. <laughs> 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 she she just kind of like pushes pushes it it as she pushes the one it's like she's like this this one has been uh, opened recently. Okay, so maybe maybe it's been through here. Do you go on to walk through the doors? Yes. Okay, so the three Ooh. of you uh, walk through the doors. You find yourself in a. Um, in a what looks like what used to be a grand ballroom. So imagine the ballroom from like Beauty and the Beast. You are like on the top, on the top floor of that, if you like. So there is like you're basically like on a balcony, and there's another balcony on the other side of the room. And yeah. at the end of this balcony, there's like two spiral staircases that come down to a center stair into what looks like the ballroom. However, it's not it's it's not fancy. There is a uh, <laughs> there is no floor uh, on the ballroom. Um, <laughs> there is a large dining table, which it, the feet of which are just in swamp water. Upon that table, there is a green mound of flesh. That seems to be led down on the table. So lean, they lean down. She's pretty much going to be like right down on the ground to to Ruto. I'm like Ruto, is that is that Guma over there? Yeah, I think it it must be. Okay. Looks like a troll. So we should just go speak to Guma. Um, I don't know how. Chai, he'll be. We can try. But you wanted to give him a talking to, so yeah, I don't want to step yeah. on your toes. Yeah, but I, I, didn't, I forgot how big trolls were. Okay. You know, I could speak to him in his head. Oh, oh really? Mm-hmm. Here, we could all hide down here in this balcony bit, and I could, like, speak to him in his head and see if he will help us. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> He's going to cast message. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're going to cast message, yeah. To the troll. To the troll, yeah. One day I'm going to make an intelligence character, but um, <laughs> it won't be today. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Guma. My name is Annalise. I am looking for a deadly artifact. Could you please maybe help me? Pretty, please. I have food. As as you uh, use this, <laughs> um, you don't get a reply. <laughs> <laughs> but as you're watching the the mound in the in the middle of the ballroom down the stairs, as you're looking down upon this, uh, you do see the form start to uh, start to stir, and it it sits up like a dog that's just been awoken. Um, it's kind of very prominent brow and and large kind of uh, protruding nose goes into the air as it kind of like snarls as it sniffs as well and you see kind of drips of slime start coming down its chin it's yeah. kind of thick black dreadlocks kind of half obscuring one side of its face uh, as its long clawed hands kind of grasp the end of the table and you just hear it go <laughs> <sighs> And then it it looks just just ahead of you. It looks upward. Uh, what what languages do you speak? Um, common, 
Elvish and Orc. Yeah, I should have just asked. Do you speak giant? You don't. No. <laughs> it shouts something that you don't understand. And from where you were, you couldn't see, but from just within, on the kind of outside wall of the upper balcony that you're on, this suit of armor takes a step outward. And then on the other other balcony, something moves as well, and you see this suit of armor. Wait, the suit of armor is moving? Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> and the suit of armor then kind of kneel, like bends over very unnaturally and uh, draws its weapon. And then it very mechanically like turns around, like lifts its like knee very dramatically, places it down and starts walking towards you. Towards the three of you. Towards the three of you. Um, um, um. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, I think the giant going to know where we are. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. She's going to... Firebolt? <laughs> Firebolt, okay. Yeah, Ro roll an attack. Uh, that was a two. Plus two is four to hit. F a, f a four... A four completely misses this thing as it's maybe just its unnatural movement as it's coming towards you. A relatively slow pace uh, just fires straight past its head. Oh no. <laughs> we're going <laughs> to roll some initiative. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... Shout them out when you got them. Um, Annalise has a 10, and Kalina, I'm just getting her stats up. Annalise has a 10? Was it? Yeah, Annalise has a 10. 10. Sorry, I'm just doing Kalina's now. Um, 9, and Kalina has a 12. Okay. Got one more to do, and then we're ready to roll. Okay. Yeah. What am I going to do to this guy? Okay, so you oh, see, really <laughs> so you see that you see the troll, um, just kind of like, uh, it stands up, but then it kind of just like does, does like a squatting position. Uh, you can see kind of just it's completely bare, apart from like a, a Tarzan style loincloth, if you <laughs> if you like, um, and it's kind of putrid, putrid skin giving off that real foul stench you can smell from even up here and it just kind of sits and squats and does nothing uh it's kalina's turn next um okay kalina <clears throat> is going to bonus action i'm gonna use her magical sword yeah against the um Suit of armor that's the suit of armor, okay. Walking towards us. So yep. the trolls have done anything wrong yet, okay? <laughs> so she's this is hearsay so far. She's going to get the the um send send the magical sword towards the suit of armor and roll an attack. Roll an attack, yeah. That, however, was a nat one. A nat one. As as this as the sword uh, dan shoots out and dances towards it, this robot is this thing and looks like it's doing the robot dance. Um, it, it swings and kind of clings off a, a bit of armor. It's quite heavily armored. This thing. It. Um. Action. She is going to take out her short bow. And shoot it. Okay. Roll an attack. Oh, that's better. It's an 18 plus 5 is 23. That hits. Nice. Um, damage is for... What do I add on to that? 
Um, seven points of damage. <laughs> seven points of damage. Is uh, yeah. as as she fires off. It's a crossbow, right? It's a short bow. Short bow. As she fires off this um, this arrow, uh, a part of the um, a part of the breastplate just comes completely off this suit of armor, and what you see inside the chest cavity of this suit of armor is a load of little wheels and a load of little levers, um, and on these wheels are rats. And there are rats, like, moving levers, <laughs> and one just <laughs> going <laughs> full ham on this on this wheel. Okay. <laughs> right. Cool. That's the end of Kalina's turn. <laughs> That's the end of Kalina's turn. It's now, it's now your turn, Annalise. Annalise is going to cast Animal Friendship. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, this spell lets you convince the beast that you can that that you mean it no harm. Choose the beast that you can see within range. It must see and hear you. If the beast's intelligence is four or higher, the spell will fail. Otherwise, the beast must succeed in a wisdom saving throw or be charmed by you for the spell's duration. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna get the. <laughs> Just gonna see. I'm gonna use a swarm of rats uh, yeah. stat block for this. <laughs> okay, so it needs to make a wisdom wisdom save. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, ro they rolled a natural one. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> so is it? How how does this spell look as you uh, cast it? Um, well, she'll take out her lute and she'll start playing it. And um, like with everything with Annalise, she'll get like a sort of, you know, can we say like a sort of purple sort of aura coming off from, yeah. from the um, from the the lute as she's playing it as well. Mm -hmm. And she's yeah, she's just you know playing away, hoping that the rats are going to trust her and be her friend. Um, yeah, and she's just going to try and convince them that she means them no harm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I mean, uh, yeah, I we'll we'll guess we'll see what happens when it comes to their turn. So yeah, uh, she'll, sorry. Yeah, so she'll, she'll, she'll cast that and then mm -hmm. um, hoping that it's successful, she is just going to say, you know, um, it is okay. I do not mean you any harm. Um, you might have been the rats that I just released. <laughs> um, and while she's there uh -huh. can she kind of see any more into this suit can she see if they're actually trapped there or they're like free to move uh do a just do a quick perception for me okay um uh, that's a 16 plus five is 19 no what Six in uh, twenty one. <laughs> twenty one. Yeah. Better than nineteen. Uh, yeah, it, it look no, it, it looks like they could probably get out. Okay, cool. That's fine. Yeah. And that, that that's everything she's gonna do actually. Okay. Uh, Ruto uh, squeaks something um, and doesn't do much else. It kind of uh, he just hides behind Kalina's um, calf. Uh, the suit of armor in front of you just uh, stops and does nothing else. The suit of armor on the other side of the hall, however, is still kind of marching over towards you. Still a fair distance away from you. The <laughs> the the troll. Now let's 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 see how this. Uh, so they are. So if they are charmed, charm creature can attack the charmer or target the charmer. Magical effects. Charm has advantage on ability check. To try social with socially. Okay. So it's charm for how long? Um, twenty-four hours. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, the troll yep. kind of stands up and uh, barks something incoherently at the suit of armor. 
It's now Kalina's turn. Oh, what's she gonna do? Ah, uh, I I don't know what Kalina's gonna do here. I know what Annalise would do. I don't know what Kalina will do. <laughs> Shit. Um. Kalina, Kalina would probably naturally follow your lead. Oh yeah. Well, I think, given the fact that she's seen what Annalise is like with all the animals in the area and stuff, and knowing this troll is like using rats as slaves and keeping them in horrible conditions, she is going to shoot the troll. <laughs> You're going to shoot the troll, okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, so uh, roll an attack, Cleaner. Then. Eight. I'm eight plus. Five, I think. Eight, nine, seven, eight, plus thirteen to hit. Oh. Thirteen misses. Uh, um. Okay, she's gonna bonus action and send her sword to the troll. I don't know where the range is though on that. Actually, I don't know how far away we are from the troll. Uh, th I think it's thirty. I think so. I think Possibly. Do you want me to double check? Um, I've got it open. I'm just looking now. Yeah, thirty feet. Yeah, he's further away than thirty feet. She'll send it thirty feet away. Okay. And that will be her turn. Yeah, because because you, you're like up above him, you're like a floor above him, basically. Yeah. And you're kind of looking down on him. If that's all Kalina wants to do, it's now Annalise's turn. Annalise is going to look down to this troll, and she's feeling really angry and pissed off and everything. Like, these poor little rats haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> and she's going to look down to the troll, and she's going to be like, you know, there is no beholder's eye in which you are beautiful. <laughs> gonna cast fish <laughs> okay <laughs> wisdom save for the troll uh yeah wisdom save please it's a 15 now yeah it's 15 okay it rolled a 10 so it fails okay um it's going to take four points of psychic oh, damage oh psychic um and it's going to have disadvantage on its next attack the troll kind of looks up and goes <laughs> <laughs> it's very hurt by that insult. That's the end of um, Annalise's turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ruto is going to like uh, lean out from behind Kalina and be like, Yeah! Tell them, Annalise! <laughs> that's, that's all he's going to do. Um, the, the suit of armor in front of you um, is charmed by you, Annalise, so it's, it, it can't attack you, so it's just going to it's just going to stay there. Um, however, the other suit of armor is just going to use its full turn just to kind of dash around. It's now kind of, it's now gone down like the half staircase and now it is, is just about to start coming up the other set of stairs to get onto your balcony. Uh, but yeah, the, the, the troll also then just, having just been insulted, uh, looks at the other suit of armor that is... Uh, walking along it's going to uh make an intelligence it's got a minus two intelligence uh, it's going to uh keep barking at the uh the suit of armor that stopped moving <laughs> um <laughs> it is now uh kalina's turn kalina is going to bonus action and her sword can her sword get within range now the troll it would she would probably she would have it has to be within range of her i think oh right I yeah it has totally to be within 30 that. feet of her i think i see yeah so if she dropped it that means she would Perfect lose control cover, of it flies up to 30 feet and attacks one creature um <laughs> mm. it should say a range on it um i think it's 30 feet yeah, it's got it in the text. That's why I'm it's taking a little while to find. Yeah. But yeah, it sees flies up to thirty feet and yeah. attacks a creature. Yeah, I, um, it needs to stay within thirty feet of you. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, because got you could it. you can move it around yourself thirty feet in like an arc or up or down. But as long as it stays within reach of you, I think it's thirty feet. Do you want me to check? Um. 
no, no, I've got it. Sorry, it, it's literally in the bottom line of the third paragraph. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes, if it also ceases to hover if you grasp it or move more than 30 feet away from Wait, it. Exactly, so, yeah. Got so it, it's, I understand just gotta, now. Yeah. Um, it's like spiritual weapon he, with no range, basically. Got it. She's going to use her short bow and she's going to shoot it. <laughs> sure. Roll an attack. Um. Oh. That's a 17 plus uh, five, I believe. That'll hit. Yeah. Roll some damage uh, on that. The eight, I rolled a one, plus three is four. Four. Big damage on the troll. <laughs> okay, it's Annalise's turn. Um, Annalise is gonna, gonna stick with what she's doing. I think she's um she's enjoying um backing Russo up with some insults so she's just gonna like shout down and be like you know one of the two of us is dumber than me <laughs> okay <laughs> uh that's a six that's a fail Another fail so again disadvantage and takes three points of psychic damage Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay uh is that all annalise wants to do um yeah actually yeah she's um she's happy just insulting it um oh actually how close is the other suit of um rats um it will probably get to you within its next turn um with all its movement it's gonna Try something if it's possible. Can she say something to the rats that she's charmed? I'll allow it, yeah. I don't know if they'll understand or not, but she's just going to be like, Hello, little rat friends. Tell your other friends not to attack us. We are here to help. Right. <laughs> and that's going to be her turn. Okay. <laughs> um, it's Ruto's turn, and he's going to be, he's going to use his entire turn to be like, I'll, I'll, I'll translate. And, uh, and, the, and the rats are just like, um, it's their, it's their, it's their turn. They're charmed. Uh, they, they're going to, uh, turn around and you just hear like, because you can't see a lot of them because some of them are in the legs, in the feet. And you just hear this like echoey, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> into, <laughs> like, as a load of rat squeaks just come out. You have no idea what's going on. Something's happening. <laughs> <laughs> um, it gets working. Yeah, the the other. <laughs> oh my god, the other suit of armor uh, finally <laughs> makes its way up to you. Um, it just it just stop for a, a split second, and then carries on and raises its weapon. But that's all it can do. It uses all of its movement um, yeah. as it's reached. It's now it is now in kind of combat. Uh, distance with the three of you now though oh fine the troll is he you you you're keeping an eye on him he after being insulted so many times he is going to jump off the table with a splash onto the into the kind of water which comes up to kind of his ankle um and he is going to just start charging up to the staircase uh, with his full movement and dash, he's going to be kind of at the top of the first kind of staircase. It's Kalina's okay. turn. <laughs> Kalina is going to, bonus action, move her sword <laughs> to the troll. To the troll. Okay, it's going to be... So she'll have to move with it because she's already put it like 30 feet out in front of her, right? Yeah, so like she's at the top and she's moved it 30 feet down. So she's then going to bring it back up to thirty three in front of her. Yeah. Yeah. Like, does that make sense? Like, can yeah. she do that? Can she, like, you know? Yeah. As long as it's yeah. th within thirty feet of her. So if it yeah, was like, yeah, if it was like hanging out over the top of the air, and then she's yeah. like moved it forward. So she's going to move it over to the because the troll's now what thirty? It's the troll. Oh no 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 troll's still uh, still a good like sixty feet away from you. 
Got it. Sorry. Yeah. She's going to move the sword back to back up to her then. The full 30 movement will bring it back up to yeah. her so that she's ready with it. And she's going to continue with her short bow and she's going to shoot the troll. Okay. Yeah, if you imagine you guys are at like one end of the ballroom and he's come from downstairs. He's run up the stairs and he's now on the other end of the room. Um, Got it. And then he's going to come up the stairs and then come across the balcony to you. Um, that, however, was a two plus five, which is seven. That's going to miss. And it's been a while since she was inspired, so I assume that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's Annalise's turn, though, now. Annalise um, is going to be like, Oh, hello! You know, we were looking for this big, scary troll. You haven't seen one, have you? <laughs> <laughs> you take advantage of low wisdom. That was a th that's a th that's a three. <laughs> I have noticed the low wisdom. <laughs> okay, that's a uh, three points of psychic damage <laughs> and this disadvantage. <laughs> I'm gonna send pick away. <laughs> um, that was her action. Um, let me just double check. Um. Bonus action, she's going to be, she's going to like look over to Kalina and be like, you know, I do believe in you. Like not because you are infallible or anything, but you know, because you never give up. That's her inspiration. Oh, thanks, I feel great. Oh, I knew you would. <laughs> so she gets a D6 inspiration. A D a D6. Clearly fucking needs it. <laughs> And that's the end of um, Annalise's turn. Okay. Uh, next up is uh, Ruto, who is going to uh, just uh, run back to the door because he's like, nope, I'm out of here. <laughs> As he sees this troll like galloping up the stairs. Um, then uh, we have the suit of armor that is charmed by you. That isn't going to do anything. He can't attack you. Um, the next one, though, is going to... Let's see who it's going to swing at. Um, it's going to swing at you, Annalise. Okay. Um, so it raises its uh, sword above its head. Ooh, a 23 to hit. That's a hit. Annalise, you take eight piercing damage. I'm going to mark this on my paper sheet because I've got the extra five on my paper one and I can't figure out to do it on that one. Yeah. So that takes down two. Got it. It is then, uh, that's its turn. It's going to stay and stand and fight. Uh, it is then the troll's uh, turn. It is going to uh, basically just gallop up, run up and dash um, till it is within range of like, let's say side by side with the other suit of armor. Um, it's it's things are kind of in the way it it kind of uses part of its movement just to get in front of the suit of armor that is charmed and it is just out of kind of reach of you it's let's say there's like 10 foot away from you you guys okay you folks okay kalina's up next kalina it's going to bonus action use her sword bonus action use a sword okay the on sword on troll trolly troll yeah fuck off it was a one. It's a one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this dice is going into jail. I'm, I'm taking Put it in the jail. dice out of my, buck, out of my bucket. Um, let's go chunk. We're going we're to start using Go for the chunk. Okay, so chunk that was a one. Good. Now I'm going to use her, um, her bow. It's a three plus five is eight. Plus a D6. Plus a D6. Nine. <laughs> Nine. No, that doesn't hit a troll. Oh my God. That does not hit a troll. <laughs> <laughs> does Kalina want to do anything else? She want to back Bang up? Her head shame. No, she's going to move back. She's away move from back. the. Okay, so she. They were within 10 feet, you said, yeah? Yeah. Uh, so we're we'll... going to move the other way then. Okay, she should move her full movement back. Okay, she's like 40 feet back then, let's say. 
Um, she, so let's say she's like in the doorway, basically into the into the ballroom. Like um, her, myself, and the rats that I've charmed are at one side, and then the rats that I've not charmed and the troll are at the other side. Is that correct? Uh, no, the charms, oh. the, the what the charm ones are now behind the troll because the troll used its movement to get through. It's technically an ally of theirs, so right. it's moved through them. And where is the other rats? The other rats are in combat in combat distance with you because they just attack you. Right. Okay. Cool. So in front, so from Annalise's point of view, yeah. Uh, in front of you, there is a suit of armor attacking you. Okay. Um, behind you is Kalina. In uh, behind the suit of armor that is attacking you is a troll, and behind that is a suit of armor you've charmed. Perfect. That's what I needed. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay, it's Annalise's turn. Annalise is going to. So, with the um, suit of armor being in front of her, with that five feet, and with the troll being ten feet away, um, Annalise is going to cast... Um, sorry, let me just double check this. Misty step? No. Where is um, the other... Suit of armor, how far behind the troll is that? Sorry, there's lots another, of measurements another, in this another, one. Another, another, really... another five feet. Oh, okay. Okay, she's going to, yes, bonus action, misty step. Okay, yep. 30 foot back, so she's closer to cleaner. Okay, so that'll put you like the other side of the door. Yes. Action. Mm -hmm. She's going to cast. Nathera's mischief. Yeah. It's 20 feet, so she can position it to get the rats that she has not charmed that were within combat distance to her and the troll while avoiding the rats that she did charm already sure. and okay. leave them back. Yeah. Obviously, if they walk into it, that's their problem. Yeah. But she's going <laughs> to cast that. Then she's going to roll. I'm going to roll a D4. <laughs> and find out what's going to happen. Okay. That is a one. It's a one. The smell of apple pie fills the <laughs> air. Of course it's that one. <laughs> and each creature in the cube must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become charmed by you until the start of your next turn. Okay, so the troll rolled an 18. <laughs> wow. Unfortunately. Troll's fine. Yeah. yeah. Troll's got it. Uh, and the suit of armor rolled a 14. Oh, yep. Yeah, so, suit of armor fails. Mm -hmm. 15. Um, so, the suit of armor is now charmed by me until the start of my next turn. Start of your next turn. Which is when, of course, I will then re roll the table. Okay. okay, apple pie. The, you, yeah, so the, the suit of armor, uh, Ruto kind of, whatever, Ruto just, you smell, you hear him go, you smell apple pie? <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, um, the, the, the two suits of armor are just completely static. Yep, that's good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then it is the troll. Is the troll's turn? It's going to run up. But disadvantage. Uh, it does have disadvantage. Um, it is going to run up. The first one it's going to come to is Kalina because she's in the doorway, and you, the you, the two of the rest of you, two of the rest of you, <laughs> you and Ruto are behind. Um, so it is going to. Uh, have a bite at Kalina. That is an 11 to hit Kalina. Just getting her thing up. That's a miss. I don't think, yeah, I didn't think it was. Yeah. And then it's going to, uh, then it's going to claw at Kalina for 16. Uh, that is a hit. She takes 11 points of slashing damage. Sorry, I'm trying to math this. Right, say that again. Seven points of slashing damage. I thought you said 17. No, seven. You said seven. seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not as scary as I thought it was. <laughs> Also, you do notice that it seems to, even though you, you hurt it mentally, um, it seems to be 
Well, actually, how does this work? That's interesting. Okay, so the, 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 the shot that Kalina had fired off, uh, the wound looks to be, like, resealing. Oh. So the physical wounds are resealing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. It's now Kalina's turn. Kalina is, I'm assuming now, like, right in melee with, with them then. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kalina is going to bonus action sword. Bonus action sword. Roll an attack for your dancing sword. use this dice this time. Yeah. Um, oh, so 14 plus 5 is 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Nice. Roll some damage. Um, oh. One, two, three, four points of damage. Four points. And um, then she's going to use her uh, action. She's going to use the sword that's in her hand. Well, she's going to. Can she actually do that? So she yeah. did have this the bow out. So can she like drop the bow yeah. and take out her sword? Yeah, and get okay? out a hammer. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's a it's a hammer, isn't it? She's got it on. A, yeah, it's a hammer, but we're using sword stats. Oh. That, however, was a four plus five is nine. Oh, Kalina's not rolling, not rolling well. I'm not doing is, well today. That is a miss. Cool. It's Anna Lisa's turn. You have to right. roll your things. Let's roll the thing. What did we get? Ooh. Uh, roll the three. I don't know what a three is. Let me go back to it. Uh, spells. So we'll say the troll is still in that area. Is he? I would say so, yeah. How? Because he's in. Oh, sorry. I think it's I got a... this all back with my head. Okay. Yeah, Kalina's a... in front of me. Got it. Kal got Kalina, it. Kalina is in front of you. You're, be you're behind the door. So the, the current marching order is Ruto, yeah. you, Kalina in the doorway. Troll, armor, armor. Got it. Got it. Right. Three. Um. <laughs> Each creature in the cube must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or begin giggling until the start of your next turn. A giggling creature is incapacitated and uses all its movement to move in a random direction. <laughs> I really want the troll to fail this. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the suit of armor rolled a 15. So uh, the score to beat is a 15, so I take it, that means it's fine. Yep, beats okay. it, it beats it, um, and the troll fails. <laughs> so <laughs> let me get this right. It goes into a fit of laughter and then has to run away. A random direction. Okay, so you use you, all its movement. Yeah. So what does it? What does it look? What What does the spell look like when this happens with the cha the shift in this? Because you have apple pie, and then what would you think it looks like when it's? Okay, so I feel like the apple pie sort of scent starts to dissipate. Um, so it would, be, it would have been a bit more calming before because it's charming, so kind of calm tones and everything. And then it just kind of completely dissipates into more vibrant colors um, to make it a bit more comical. Um, and yeah, they just start starting that shift and... Um, the troll should start giggling uncontrollably and run off in a random direction. Okay, so it starts doing that on his turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think of a song that's going to... Oh, it's kind of like Winnie the... Actually, I know we've already had Winnie the Pooh references here, but it's basically, you know, a bit, you know... Heffalumps and woozles. Heffalumps <laughs> <laughs> and Very bamboozles. Uh, is there anything else you want to do on your turn, at least? Um... No. No. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. No. 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 That's her. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the the suits of armor are um, the one isn't charmed anymore, uh, so it's going to start moving forward. However, it can't really move, get to you because there is a troll in the way. Mm -hmm. So now the troll's turn. So the troll, as you send this out, it's just. You see it as it's as it's like, do, you know, doing this kind of like aggressive onslaught towards Kalina, and you send your spell out, uh, or the spell activates, and it just kind of goes, 
His shoulders just start moving. <laughs> and it's going to have to turn around and then use all its movement to get through the <laughs> get through the suits of armor. So it's going to let's say just kind of like <laughs> and just and just kind of push them out the way <laughs> and, <laughs> and start just fleeing. Uh, so it is now like 30 feet away. Um, on the other side of the of of the suits of armor, <laughs> Kalina. Okay, right. Um, <laughs> Kalina is uh, ooh, what's she gonna do? I think she's just gonna carry on targeting the um the troll. To be honest, um, just because like I don't think she's gonna shoot the rat, so she's gonna shoot the troll again. She's troll. Sure, Why roll not? an attack. Uh, oh, 15 plus 5 is a dirty 20. There we go, it's a hit. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8 points of damage. 8 points of damage. That was a good one. Yeah. I rolled really low the damage today, but that was that was a good one. And um, that's all she's going to do. Okie doke. Uh, it's Annalise's turn. Um, Annalise going to... Oh, shit. What's Annalise going to do? Hmm. Oh, well, she needs to roll on the table again. I'll do that first. Um, that was another three, so the same as last time. Um, I think it's just the coat of arms that's still in there, or have they moved out of it now? The uh, the, the armor. Suit of yeah. armor. <laughs> the coat of arms. The coat of arms. You know what I meant. That's a 16. Um, that is a, that's a pass, so they're fine. Um, but can you not move it? I thought you could move it. I can move it. I'm just not sure where I'm moving it to because it kind of creates a nice little barrier there. The troll's gonna have to come through it. It is, yeah. To get You've got to a nice little choke so point I, there. I kind of like. I kind of want to leave it there. I don't want to move it back because I don't want to get the rats that I have already, you know, got under my control. Charmed, yeah. Um, I know they might like, you know, run into it, but yeah. Um, she's just gonna shout after him. Screw it. She's yeah. just gonna like shout after the troll and be like, "My gosh, you are so gross! You know, even Everard's black tentacles would not touch you." Okay, rolling, rolling a wisdom save for the troll. That's a three. That's a fail. Roll some damage. That is a three point of psychic damage. And he's got disadvantage. Um, um that's all it's gonna do. Okay, so uh the one suit of armor still isn't doing anything. The other suit of armor is going to start trying to attack Kalina though. For a 20 to hit Kalina. Um, I'm going to... I have a new ability. Yes. I'm going to use it. Um, use those abilities. Am I... Is Annalise within five feet of Kalina? Yes. You're right behind her. As this attack comes out, Annalise is going to leap out in front of Kalina. And these sort of um, purple pearlescent wings are going to sprout from Annalise. Ooh. And they are going to encase around Kalina, giving her a... Plus to a... two bonus to her AC. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear the attack roll because I know that's not going to be enough, but I want to do this ability. <laughs> she's going to like... Yeah, okay. She's going to jump around and she's going to um, do that to try and help shield Kalina from this attack that's coming, giving her a plus two to her AC. Um, I don't think that's You sure you want to do that? Because you, you heard the roll. You want to save it? Oh, I don't know. Because that's not fair, is it? You've just used an ability. Yeah. You wouldn't have used that if you knew, because it's like using shield, isn't it? It's basically like using shield? Yeah. Okay, right. 
I'll use cutting words instead. Use cutting words. Okay, roll your, roll your uh, d6. Uh, five. Five. So that would that would make the attack fifteen. That still hits. That still hits. <laughs> She takes she takes uh four uh four slashing damage. Now which math equation was hers? Yep. Shit. Oh, no. it's this one. <laughs> five minus four is twenty one. Got it. These these notes are kinda scary looking. You can't even see that it's too bright. <laughs> so it's 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 now the troll's turn. Okay. Uh, is it still is it still run, running away? Don't think so, because um. Uh, let's see, ba 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 ba. Um. Because you've had your turn, so I'm assuming. It's... Yeah. No. No. Um. Until the start of your next turn. So yeah. it's until, the, until the start of my next turn, so I think he's okay. But I yeah, he's turned, okay. Yeah, though. I have had a turn after yeah. that. So yeah, he's now gonna, he can stop giggling. He can come back if he wants. So he like he runs over <laughs> and then he stops like at the edge of the stairs and is like, <laughs> and then turns around and kind of like goes <laughs> and then just runs straight up. But then he can only get to the back of uh, the back of the suit of armor that's behind. It's now in front of Kalina because the suit of armor is now blocking the way. Okay, got it. <laughs> and he's getting pretty angry. It's Kalina's turn, though. Kalina's going to... Um, how far away is he from Kalina, sorry? Uh, he's got... She's got a suit of armor in front of her, and then a troll. So how far away... Is, is he within 30 foot. feet of her? 10 yes. feet, got it. She is going to center sword. 13 feet. Yeah, so it goes up. 18 to attack. 18, that hits. One, two, three, four points of damage. Four. Mm. So many numbers here. Um, and then she is going to um use her bow. Um, oh, nine to attack. That misses. Cool, that's the end of her turn. Okay, it's your turn now. I'm gonna roll my dice. I will say as well that you have been noticing that the attacks that Kalina has been doing on the troll, they seem to be healing up. Okay. I don't think Kalina has anything else. Um, right. So I'm gonna roll. Actually, where is he? Is the troll in the um, zone again? If he's ten feet in front yeah. of Kalina. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So let's do this. Uh, two. <clears throat> Bouquets of flowers appear all around, and each creature in the cube must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or be blinded until the start of your next turn as the flowers free water in their faces. <laughs> okay. Dexterity saving throw. Arts are ridiculous. <laughs> uh, so the troll rolls a 15. Oh, he makes it. Um, and the suit of armor. Oh, actually, does this. Yeah, what's this? At this. Hmm. I'm gonna say it's this. And a ten for the suit of armor. Uh, they fail. So they're just they've just got flowers spreading water at the suit of armor. So technically, all the there's like loads of little flowers like sp bursting into the the suit of armor, and all the little rats have got like <laughs> like flowers spurting in their faces. So maybe they might want to scurry away. <laughs> <laughs> Might be perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, and then she's just gonna um, action. She's just gonna shout over to the the troll again. So it's gonna be like, you know, your mama's so fat, she wouldn't fit inside my bag of holding. It's a fourteen. Fail. Fail. Well, damage. Four points of damage, and I have now stabbed myself about five times on the D4, and I think I'm going to switch it for a <laughs> not sharp one. <laughs> Ow. So four points. Four points. Psychic damage. And I'll find another damage type, I think, for cleanup. Okay. And that's the end of him. So. And at least his turn. Yeah, you 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 look like you're hurting him with your words, but he seems to be. 
He's, he's regenerating. Okay. Uh, it is Ruto. Uh, he's not going to do anything. Uh, one suit of armor is still charmed by you. The other is going to attack with disadvantage on Kalina. That is a nine to hit Kalina, which misses. That's a miss. As it struggles, as as you hear the little squeaks from inside the, <laughs> getting sprayed in the face by little flowers, little tiny flowers. <laughs> uh, it is now the it's now the troll's turn. Uh, the troll is getting quite looks like it's getting quite frustrated. It can't really do anything because it's kind of out of range of you two, and it's kind of stuck where it is. Um, so it's gonna hold. It's gonna hold its action. Okay. It's now Kalina's turn. Um, do doing uh, do me a an intelligence uh, check for Kalina, please. Okay. Seven. Seven. I don't think uh, I don't think these attacks are working. Right. What's she gonna do? Mm. I don't do because like Kalina can only do those things, so I'm not sure. I'm I'm glad you're not meta gaming because you've definitely fought a troll before as a player, and I'm glad that you've forgotten how to fight trolls, which is is making this more fun. Oh shit! How do you fight trolls? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a good player. I would never meta game. Yeah. How do you fight trolls? <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, nothing. I, I am nothing. Does Kalina it's... know how to fight trolls? I'm nothing. Oh, that was an intelligence check. Never mind. Well, you, you could you could maybe do a uh, you could maybe do a wisdom check as Annalise. I'll put a high DC on it, but I'll let you do a wisdom check. Right. I'll finish Kalina's turn first then, and then Annalise will do that on her turn. I'm not sure. Um, she's just going to keep attacking. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all she knows to do. She's going to shoot with her um, crossbow. I mean, her short bow. Yeah, roll an attack. Uh, ooh, 12 plus 5 is 17. That hits. Seven, eight, nine points of damage. How nine do you fight a troll? <laughs> oh my god, I have fought a troll before. You have. How do we fight it? That's the end of her turn. Okay, Annalise. Annalise is going to try and figure out how to fight a troll. Okay, well you can do a, you can do a wisdom or intelligence check. Um, it's going to be wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight wisdom. Go for it. I'm gonna put a high DC on it. Let's see. Um. Oh, I rolled a 19. Yeah. Yeah. See. 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 Yeah, I believe you. And then what does that come out as? 19, 20, 21, 22. 22. Uh, usually, um, things that regenerate you remember from your studies at, uh, the Bard College, especially when it comes to magic. Things that regenerate, um, you need something to. Um, mitigate when some because something's growing rapidly, you need something that eats away at it. I'm not gonna give you the exact answer. <laughs> with that. I'm even more confused. <laughs> you need to, you need to, if, if it's growing at a rate, you need something that is going to stop it growing. Okay. <laughs> Our audience is just sitting there like. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't understand what that means. What else <laughs> so is Annalise doing? I'm going to try and think of something to do because I don't know what that means. Um, is your thing still up? Is my what still up? Your spell? Oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 that's still up. So I can do that first. Mm -hmm. What is it? Uh, let's see. I'm going to open up my spell, sorry. Uh Okay, okay, okay. Um, what did you roll? So 
Drops of molasses hover in the cube, making it difficult to rain until the start of your next turn. Okay. So that's what's happening in the cube. I am still very confused by what you said, and I can't think of what's going to... <laughs> I can't think of it. I don't know. I'm like, do I set him on fire? That would stop it, surely. That'd keep burning as he's growing. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. I don't want to set him on fire. It seems a bit brutal. Um, uh, damn it. Um, you know, we have too many spells, so you just can't remember which what in them do. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to cast. I'm going to cast Firebolt. Okay. See if that does anything. Something roll, else done yet? Roll an attack. Okay. 16 plus 2 is 18. That hits. Uh, D10. So, one point of fire damage. One point of fire damage. As you fire out. Psh- this uh, firebolt, one point of damage, it kind of embers, hits, but it hits where this troll was like regenerating and it seems to have stopped. Oh! Yay! Yay! Not as daft as I thought. (laughs) Anything else you want to do? (laughs) No, I think that's it. (laughs) Okay, There there is a suit of armor still attacking. It's covered in molasses now. Uh, yeah. So we've got a rusty suit of armor being uh, piloted by rats that's covered in covered in armor and is going to raise that's... its clunky sword and just hit uh, try to hit uh, Kalina with a six misses though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the troll is going to. Is this its first time attacking? Since I shouted the insult before, it didn't yeah, try and attack last it would time, be. so it's disadvantage. Okay. Uh, what it's going to do... Uh, what what does the molasses do? It's just difficult terrain, right? Difficult terrain. Okay. Um, it's going to uh, try and move the suit of armor in front of it out of the way. Um, so it's going to use its action to uh, shove it. Okay. And I'm going to do a strength check for the suit of armor. Okay, so the troll literally just like moves the suit of armor out of the way and walks up to Kalina. And that's going to be his turn. It's okay. Kalina's turn. She now has a troll in front of her. Right. She is going to. Um, oh, she can't do anything fiery. He can just hit it. The hits were causing damage, but it was re- it was he- the wounds were healing oh, okay, after she damaged. You. Right, it's... she's going to bonus action, use her sword and do swordy stuff. Yep. Um, no, she's not because that was three plus five, which is an eight. Misses. Um, okay, she's going to use her her normal sword and do other swordy stuff. Yeah. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, uh, 13, I think. Oh, oh, she has inspiration. Okay, yeah, use your inspiration. 15. 15 just hits. Yes. Right. Um, 3, 4, 5, 6 points of damage. 6 points of damage. takes a hammer, bang, right into this uh, troll's kneecap. Um, and the wound that it leaves, this kind of, uh, kind of hole that it leaves doesn't seem to be closing up. Screw yeah. you. It's Annalise's okay. turn. Annalise is going to fireball. Fireball, good choice. Um, oh, it's an ad 20! That's 20! Yeah, awesome. Like, <laughs> um, it's fine, you've got no suppression on. Okay, good. I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> that was a nat 20. Um, 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 so it's a D10. Do I, do I roll it twice? That how yeah, that yeah, you roll, you'd roll the damage dice twice <gasps> and then add your modifier. Oh, that's four. Oh, 10. That's 14. And the modifier is with no modifier. 14. 14. Uh, 14 fire. damage. Nice. So you fire up this firebolt and as it's 
uh, taking its hit in the kneecap from Kalina as she's like squatted down, bang straight into the side of its side of its knee. Uh, you see the opening a bit like trolling like the Fellowship of the Ring. It goes like that, and then you fire your fireball straight into its mouth as it's as it's kind of screaming in pain, and it's like <laughs> full of fire as it's starting to set a light, and parts of its skin are just starting to like uh, seep and kind of sag as well. It is not like that at all. Is anything still in the the, the cube? Yeah. I will roll on the table for that. We've had the ball now, though. Uh, that's one. What was one? Uh, the one's a good one, right? There's only four of them. You'd think I'd remember it. Um, there we the go. Yeah, one, this, right? this is the apple pie one. Could I please have wisdom saving throws by anything that is within the cube? Okay, so the troll rolled a six. Um, I managed, oh, I can't charm the troll now. I've set it on fire. <laughs> and the uh let's see um the suit of armor rolled a two so they are both charmed well charmed by me that's the end of my turn okay everyone's charmed <laughs> so they can't see you to attack you so the troll is like ah, ah, burning and then it's like ah. hi <laughs> <sighs> it's Kalina's turn um, Kalina is just going to take her opportunity and she's going to keep attacking this troll, trying to get rid of it. Okay. She is going to use um, bonus action sword. Uh, 14 plus 5 is 19. 19, roll some damage. Um, 5, 6, 7, 8 points of damage. 8 points of damage. As it's like looking at you, Annalise, all like lovingly, it's like. <sighs> <laughs> as it gets hit like right across the arm it's like, uh, uh. it's gonna sh gonna shoot it <laughs> okay she's gonna shoot it she's gonna have to back out she'll have disadvantage because she's in oh wait melee. wait she's still, she's still like melee isn't she yeah she's it? in melee with oh it. yeah no no sorry she's not gonna shoot she's gonna use her sword yeah use a hammer um our hammer that however is four plus five is nine it's nine. Okay, and that misses. So she hits its hard hide. Annalise, okay. it's your turn. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm gonna fire bolt the troll again. Uh, you still gotta do your do your thing first. Oh yeah. yeah. I always forget. I should have done that first last time. Yeah, you should have done it first. Yeah. Um, as a three. What was a three? Um, it's the giggling one. <laughs> it's giggling. Here we go. Right. So. Wisdom saves, please and thank you. Okay. So the suit of armor rolled an 11. Yeah, no. <laughs> and the <laughs> troll rolled uh, a zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they must say uh, that giggling and I move in a random direction. Okay. Well, this will be fun. So. <laughs> uh, the suit of armor is oh, is that the end of your turn because you know you've done it yeah or do you want to do anything it. else yeah no, no that's you're just gonna you're just gonna hang out right so out, the suit up. of armor you you just hear like this echoing and, and uh, <laughs> you just see from the armpits from the uh, bottom of the greaves from the uh, end of the gauntlets from the opening, eye opening in the helmet, from the neck, all these rats just uh, just run out of this <laughs> out of this suit of armor in every direction and making just a racket of a squeak as they as they, as they just they just run as fast as they can in this direction. The troll in front of Kalina is going <laughs> and then turns around and bolts again. As fast as it can. <laughs> as, as, as it keeps running. It's Kalina's turn. Kalina's like, this is very weird. Very weird fight. <laughs> um, Kalina is going to... Um... Hmm. She's just gonna, gonna hold her action. Um, if the troll starts running back towards us, she will then attack him, but 
for now. She's just going to hold it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Annalise. Um, Annalise is... <sighs> Annalise is also just going to hold for now. She's going to wait. Because if it's running away at this point, she's going to wait just in case it doesn't come back. So okay. she's going to hold her firebolt. Um, in case the troll comes running back. Okay, so uh, one of the suits of armor is just static. The other is still static, still charmed by you. The troll, let's see, because it's in a sticky situation for the minute. Let's see what it might do. Okay, so it's looking looking like it, it, it's it's trapped. But it is just going to run back up in at you, basically. It looks like it's, it's just running as fast as it can towards you, towards the door. It's now, it's now you can let off your attacks now if you like. Yeah, screw it. Yeah. 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 So Kalina, um, sword. Nineteen to to attack plus uh -huh. plus five, so too much hits. Uh. uh. Five, six, seven, eight points of damage. And then Annalise, fire. Oh, that's a seven, eight, nine to attack. So I assume that misses. That misses. Yeah. That's it. That's it. It's the troll's turn. The troll is going to attempt to shove Kalina. Um, it makes a shoving attack. Uh, do, a, do a strength um, athletics check for Kalina. Um, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. It rolled a twenty-two. Uh, okay. The troll knocks Kalina prone. Mm -hmm. Can't do anything else. You're in its way. That's the troll's turn. It's Kalina's turn. She's prone. Um, uh, Kalina's going to then use half her movement to stand back up, and she is going to bonus action use her sword. Roll an attack. Um, oh, that was a five plus five is ten to attack. So. That, yeah, that that doesn't hit. That <laughs> rebounds off its hide. She's going to use her, her hammer thingy. Oh, that's oh, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen uh, doesn't hit. Okay, no worries. That will be the end of her turn. It's now Annalise's it's turn. Annalise next, sorry. Sorry, I couldn't remember who was next. <laughs> so then Annalise's turn. Annalise is going to um 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 Firebolt. Fuck Firebolt. It. Firebolt it. And that was another not 20. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um four. Let's do the damage. Um is that a D10? It is. Um two three. Three points fire damage. Is that what you got? Yeah, two plus... D10s. I rolled a two and a one. Yeah, plus. No, there's no plus on it. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, ju it's just a D10. Yeah, it says a cantrip. Firebolt's a cantrip. It's just a D10. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Free fire, please. <laughs> so this, um, even though its wounds aren't healing, they did actually heal the last time because you didn't firebolt it before. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's still looking pretty... It's it's trying to get it's trying to get away basically, um, okay. but it still looks it's it doesn't look that rough. It's been burnt, it's been hit, but it's basically just gone and shoved Kalina into like into you on the floor. Kalina's got up and started hitting it again, and you both started hitting it. Right, what she's going to do? Ever looking trying to get away? She is actually now going to use her movement and she's going to step back, basically leaving a space to yeah. the door. Yeah. So it gives him the opportunity, and that's the end of her turn. Yeah, just just so you're aware that it, what it, it it seems obvious that its intentions are you are blocking the only exit, and it wants out. Got it. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah. gonna step back and let it go, basically. Okay. Um. It is now the troll's turn. The troll mm -hmm. is going to just attack Kalina because it shoved her down, and she got back up. Um. I will cutting words him. Uh. That's a twelve to hit on the first attack. Oh. Mind. Um, you can wait, leave it until the next attack. It's going to use its claw attack. That's a 20. 
Okay, Dirty yeah, 20. let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, um... Cut words up. Yeah. Um... Oh, gosh. I, I didn't have one prepared. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That's> fine. <laughs> so it's gonna be like, um... You know, recently I've actually received more witty banter from the zombies. <laughs> okay, roll your, roll your, uh... Or are you D6? Oh yeah, D6. Totally confused. I was like, what am I doing again? Uh, ooh, that's a 6. It's a 6, um, so that takes it down to a 14. Rolls, takes it down to 14. Ah, shit, I still get it, sir. Yeah, I did, I did say 20. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I didn't I didn't, rem I didn't remember I, I, what I, I didn't know. Was. Yeah, I didn't know Kalina's... Uh, yeah, it's a 14. AC. Got... That's fine. So anyway, she takes 7, seven slashing damage. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, which... It's kind of difficult sometimes to do the maths on that type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, yep, no worries. Okay, it's Kalina's turn. Where is she on this? Need a better system. Yeah. Oh, there she is. Minus <laughs> seven. Take away one, twenty, six, fourteen. Right, um, okay. Kalina is... So the troll just did it just attack her and not try to run off anymore. She is in the doorway. She she so there's a Oh, sorry, sorry. I just Yeah, no, no Kalina hasn't moved at all. Like it. throughout right. this whole thing. She's she's literally been in the doorway. The troll Got came it. up to, like shoved her over because she's in the yeah, door. Yeah, she yeah. stood back up in front of she... it and attacked it. Yeah. So she is going to sorry, in my head I had her and Annalise in different positions. So she yeah. is going to move out the way of the doorway. Yeah. She's gonna follow what Annalise has done and she's gonna move back. And that's her turn. Okay. Uh, Annalise's turn? She's going to hold Fireball if the troll tries are you, to attack. Are sorry. You, sorry, just before you do that, are you dropping the spell that you've got up? Um, it's your turn. Yes, because all those rats got her away. So yeah, she's just going to drop it. There's no okay. point in having it there. So she'll drop that. And then she's going to hold Fireball. If the troll doesn't continue running off and decides to just start fighting them now they've cleared the way, she will release it, but otherwise she'll just pull it. Okay. In that case, the troll is going to, as you kind of step aside, Kalina's like ready to attack this thing. It kind of looks and looks uh, down the corridor um, from where you guys have come from and just bolts down the corridor. You, you guys could have an attack of opportunity if you wanted. Nah, I'm just let it go. It then runs down to the end of the corridor. You can still see it climbs the set of stairs that go upward onto the platform, right. squats, and then <laughs> jumps over the side of the building <laughs> and into the swamp. Okay. <laughs> like Shrek style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. That's fine. Awesome. Fantastic. That was, that's us out of... Uh, out of combat. Christ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. It, it was, um, yeah, that was interesting because because you all like stood at the doorway. I'm like, this troll's gonna want to get out of here at some point, and you guys are like, it's, it's got, it's it's gonna have to weigh up its options to be like, hmm, do I want to? I, I want to get out of here, but I'm gonna have to fight them to get out of here. Um. Yeah, I guess she's going to um. She's going to go over to Kalina. And she is going to... Um, so she'll head over to her and she's just going to like um, take her arm and she's going to cast Cure Wounds. Kalina okay. be hurt. Um, that is... Six, seven, eight, nine points. Um, oh, can I can I actually cast that at second level? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, okay. Then she's now fourteen plus twelve. That's a little bit better. Yeah. We still be hurt, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do for now. Um, so she's cast that. Um, yeah. And then she's gonna be like, "Well, I guess we could perhaps, you know, look around the ballroom now. Maybe there is like 
you know, an artifact around here? Yes, thank you for uh, helping get rid of uh, that nasty troll. Oh, that's okay. You know, the, the rats that I charmed that are still in the suit, you could tell them now, like, from me that they, they could, they should leave the suit and, like, you know, go do rat stuff. Oh, oh yeah, sure. I did. And, and, like, the, the suit of armor before all these rats run out of the suit of armor and just kind of, like, run up to you and just kind of, less, like, look at you. Oh, I think they're your friends now. They're not really listening to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello. Um, well, you're all free now. You can all like you know and go and do what you want. You could go and like eat food or like you know, read whatever you want to do. You could go do it now. It's, you're you're all free. <laughs> when you say breed, they will just like pair up and just like and then run off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, that's going to be a problem for the future. Well, that's, 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 <laughs> Not for now. Yeah, that's, I, I like a happy ending. <laughs> no. Me too. It's a happy end. Oh, we still need to do our job. Shit, okay, oh, we yeah. still need to find this artifact. Well, you, you, you've helped us and the rats. I'm sure I can uh, help you uh, find your artifact. That would be... I would I would definitely appreciate yes. that. Yes, let, let's... Uh, let's go find... The artifact. Do the artifact. What is the artifact? I have no idea. And on that note, I think we'll end the session. <laughs> I think because <laughs> that 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 combat went on a while, so I I, I oh wanted God. to yeah I wanted to finish it up really because I was like I don't want to leave this right in the middle of um, of combat. Uh, but it was a fun combat. There was there was yeah. a lot of weird things going on which yeah. I enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> Bards, guys. Bards. Bards. <laughs> Thank you everyone for joining us uh, today. We hope you had fun. Uh, is there any um, thing we need to tell our lovely folks, uh, Robin? I don't. Think, I don't think so. No, nothing. Nothing no, special. I think, I, just I think the usual. Yeah, just the usual. Uh, if you're not already, uh, make sure you uh, follow us on Twitch. We are playing this game every Saturday at 3 p.m. GMT plus one currently. Uh, we also stream in the week. We do just chatting streams. Um, I play some video games uh, usually once a week, usually on a Friday. Uh, make sure you follow us on uh, all the socials. We are to have to roll pretty much everywhere. And we'll see you all next week. We love yeah. you all very much. See, see you all next week. And we'll see you then. Bye, Bye. guys. <laughs>